Hi, and welcome to this introduction to the FluxMira Analyzer. In this video, we'll be covering the fundamentals of the user interface menu, including the preferences menu. When the application launches, the first thing you'll see is a layout. A layout is a collection of scopes and interface elements, which is fully customizable. You can navigate through different layouts using three methods. A layout not only saves the arrangement of scopes and elements, but also the parameters of each scope. For instance, when switching between the RTA and RTA sliding scopes, the layout remains the same, but the scope settings differ. Each scope includes a configuration button represented by a cog icon. This button opens a menu where you can create presets for quick access and recall specific scope settings. These presets are shared across different layouts. All scopes feature a full screen toggle, allowing you to maximize the scope within the window. Double clicking on a scope achieves the same effect. The Mira Analyzer has three key menus. The main menu, the UI menu, the IO menu. You can exit any menu by clicking the cross icon or pressing the escape key. The main menu allows you to manage general settings. Most of these are already optimally configured and should only be changed if you are certain of the adjustments you need. The most important setting here is the real-time analysis block size. The default setting strikes a good balance between fast enough visual feedback and frequency resolution. The UI menu lets you adjust font sizes and make minor color tweaks to the Mira Analyzer theme. A white theme is available for bright outdoor environment. The I.O. menu is where you'll frequently make adjustments. The first item is audio source. In Mira, you can input data either via an audio interface or using our sample push technology embedded in the Sample Grabber plugin or SPAT Revolution. The audio source menu lets you select whether to listen to an audio interface or a sample push input. Note that this dropdown is also available in the header. In the hardware devices section, you can choose and configure your audio interface, selecting separate interfaces for input and output. You can also set the sampling rate, ensuring it matches your audio interface and adjust the buffer size to control global latency. Unlike a traditional workstation, buffer size is less critical in this application. The default of 512 works well for most scenarios and usually doesn't need adjustment. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video to stay updated on new content related to the Mira Analyzer family of products. For more detailed information, please refer to our user guide, which provides comprehensive instructions and tips to help you make the most of Mira. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll dive deeper into the advanced features and capabilities of the Mira Analyzer suite.